everybody welcome back thanks for tuning into the channel again we're going to go over something quite simple in the truck but i've seen a few people having issues with this and just wondering how it worked and that is parking sensors this thing has sensors all over it it is a 2023 frontier pro 4x if you haven't been following along if you have you already know and maybe you know how this works maybe you don't but what i'm going to show you is how to toggle on and off your parking sensors and the reason you need that is because if you're using the truck for truck things maybe you're towing a boat small trailer whatever the case is the sensors on these things along with the automatic braking system which a lot of vehicles come with now will make picking up and hooking up to a trailer a big pain in the butt if you don't know how to do this so i'll flip you around show you how easy it is and hopefully this helps you out if you have this truck or a similar vehicle and you're having issues all right so right now we are in a parking lot and i don't know if you can really tell but if you look in the side mirror there we have bushes behind us that's going to be our fake trailer as if we we're backing up to a trailer to hook up so we don't have to crash into something that's going to be our test dummy for right now and if you look at this truck on the back the bumper has two sensors on each side and two in the middle the middle ones are the ones that are attached to this button right here that's your parking sensor you can see the light is orange hopefully you guys can see that it's on you push it it turns off so right now we have it off and now what it happens when you're backing up is the two outside ones are not attached to that switch because reason for that is that is kind of sensing out towards the sides of your vehicle so say we were coming in and we wanted to pull in here beside ourselves those side sensors every time you did that especially if you're parking in between two vehicles are going to pick it up and it's going to keep hitting the brakes because this thing does have the automatic braking system as well so the two in the middle do pick up everything and that's what's attached to the auto brake so if you're backing up straight into a spot like we are now it's going to hit the brakes all you have to do is push that button and turn it off but right now we're in park you can see as soon as you go out of park reverse especially we'll go and drive just so it doesn't yell at us but you can see it turns back on anytime you switch a gear those sensors will automatically turn back on it's a safety feature in the truck it's just in case possibly you bump it with something put your phone in here whatever and you turn it off when you don't want it to be off it's going to go back on every time you change a gear so what we're going to do right now to show you we'll pull up just so we're not so close to the bush to start off so now reverse you can see it's back on you come to the screen as we go closer to these bushes it'll start to beep closer you get faster it beeps and then you can see it goes red and that is actually the truck itself we'll get out of park so it stops screaming at us that is actually the truck itself hitting the brakes so you can see the camera did that little jolt that was not me pushing the brakes you can see it goes beep 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 really fast it hits the brakes for you and like i said that's the two sensors and the very back of your truck those are the ones that'll do that because it picks up stuff behind you it doesn't want you to crash into anything but the pain in the butt is if you're backing up to something like said trailer or such you need to get through that put the truck we'll go back and drive here we'll pull up a little bit again just to retest so this time go in reverse it would have turned back on if it was off push that button now it's off in reverse you can back up it doesn't beep or scream at you you can see we can go all the way up touch the bushes nice and close so if you're picking up a trailer your sensors are off now and you're good to go again say we have a trailer picked up now and you're in drive now it stays off you can see it doesn't pick up anything we're in drive it stays off but if you are going to be pulling your trailer so say we have a trailer on our truck now and we're backing up to a boat launch or into a campsite or whatever 
when you put your truck in reverse, and this is why I find these sensors kind of stupid, you put her in reverse, that sensor is now back on. So it's already beeping, and you can see we're probably five, six feet away from those bushes. Of course, your trailer is going to be right there. That's about as close as it'll let you get without screaming and slamming on the brakes. So when you're backing up, it's going to pick up that you're hitting your trailer and it's going to slam on your brakes right away. So you have to keep in mind if you're backing up, again, put it in reverse. You'll have to hit that button right away. Otherwise, you're not going to have a fun time backing up your trailer and it's just going to be a huge pain in your butt. And then one last feature, if you're like me, I'm living in a townhouse here, so it's tandem garage when you're going to back out say we fire up the truck if we want to back out you can hear it right away hit that button turns off the beeping because this thing picks up the walls picks up the garbage cans picks up everything because like it is the walls right here and the wall is right there doesn't give you much room in these type of garages but if you're parking in here and you're backing all the way out, it'll just beep and beep and beep until you are finally out of the door and the sensors aren't picking anything else up. So again, you can turn that on and off, turn it back on, fix everything up right away, turn it back off. You don't have that beeping in your head as you're backing out of the driveway and nice and quiet. So there you go guys, just a quick rundown of the sensor. I know I've noticed a few people asking questions not only on my channel, but on a couple of the forums and group chats that I was reading up on as well. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Again, it's a safety feature, turns itself on and off. It's just part of the truck, it is what it is. Can be stupid at times when you need it. Maybe you're not paying attention, it could help you out from crashing into something. But if you're doing truck things with your truck, it could be a little bit of a pain in your butt. But like I said, if you can't do it, it's easy. This truck is very simple. It has a button. You don't have to go through the menu or anything like that. On and off, change your gear. Just remember it does turn back on when you're driving. So anytime you change a gear, turn it back off if you don't want it on. Only thing, having said that, is when you are physically driving around town, if you have that off, it's not the same everywhere, but it is around where I live. If you have any of those sensors off, whether you crash in the front or the side or the rear, whatever the case, if your insurance finds out that that button was off when you crashed, they can be a-holes about it and actually void your warranty or your insurance, I mean. So keep in mind, if you're driving straight, turn it back on just for ease of mind. You don't have to worry about it. Whether you hit somebody or somebody hits you, like I said, if they don't want to do it, a lot of insurance places can be a pain in the butt. If they don't want to pay out your truck, they don't have to if that is off. But other than that, like I said, there's a button, super simple, back up, hook up to your trailer, away you go. You don't have to worry about the truck hitting the brakes and breaking your neck, breaking your back every couple seconds while you're trying to do something as simple as hook up a trailer. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully we we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.